welcome back to the Soup's channel. My name is Matt Ramos, and on this channel, I am to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic of discussion as always, which is superheroes. So guys, Disney sent me the first two episodes of Loki early. I got the chance to watch them, and today I'm going to be talking about my first initial reaction, my review of the first two episodes, and just of the show and the show's vibe so far without giving any spoilers. So right before I get into that, guys, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification on my channel because Loki's premiering on Disney Plus tomorrow. And guess what? With episodes premiering on Disney Plus, you know what follows that? Watch parties over here on the Soup's channel. And nothing is changing. We are back. The watch parties are back. And now that Loki's kicking off, there's no more two-month breaks. Now, we had WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and then we went on a little, like, two-month break. Now, we're back, and we're not stopping, because after Loki, we have Black Widow in the middle of all that. Then What If, then Hawkeye, then Miss Marvel, then Shang-Chi, then Eternals, then Spider-Man No Way Home. We are not stopping. Marvel is back, and the hype train is leaving the station, and it's never stopping ever again. So, guys, make sure to hit that bell notification on my channel to get notified when these videos come out. And now, without further ado, let's talk about Loki. So I've been very public about this opinion, but guys, going into Loki, I was not as excited as I was going into WandaVision, going into the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, because honestly, the marketing for th for this show hasn't really shown us much in order for us to get like just extremely excited. Now, the concept of Loki show is exciting enough because Loki is just such an unpredictable character. Tom Hiddleston is great. I mean, we, we can't get enough of Tom Hiddleston as Loki, let's be real. But now that he's getting his own show, what is his show going to be like? What's, it, what's the plot going to focus around? And Kevin Feige has said that this show is going to have a bigger impact on the MCU more than any other Disney Plus show thus far. And that is very apparent in these first two episodes. My jaw was on the floor multiple times within these first two episodes just because it's very clear that they are not shying away from setting up bigger things. Things like Spider-Man No Way Home. Things like Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And it's very clear that they are laying the foundation for those movies as this show is dealing with the multiverse. And after watching the first episode, guys, I think the first episode is probably my favorite episode in a Marvel Disney Plus show, just because like they took the character of Loki, a character who we thought had no more story to be told, and they completely revolutionized this character to have a completely different purpose. And we know that Loki is getting a season two, and I, I can see the show going on for multiple seasons after the way they reinvented this character in this first episode. We also got to meet the TVA and Agent Mobius played by Owen Wilson, and he is fantastic. Him and Loki just have the best dynamic. It seems that Marvel is taking this approach to, ha to just pair up uh, characters within all of their Disney Plus shows. In WandaVision, it was Wanda and Vision. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, it was Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And now in Loki, it's Loki and Agent Mobius, and their dynamic is incredible. It's so funny, and... Honestly, this sh it feels like they completely reinvented Loki's character and with him being introduced to the TVA and helping out the TVA along this like crime thriller adventure. This honestly feels like the MCU's Men in Black. Like it really feels like just this secret organization that no one can know about and they're out there just trying to protect the multiverse from going into madness. And one complaint a ton of people have had about the Disney Plus shows thus far is that they feel very excluded. They don't feel as interconnected as all of the other Marvel projects. But this Loki show feels very connected to the greater MCU. And you really feel that within the first episode because you're seeing a ton of familiar faces. It's taking you down memory lane. And then in the second episode, the second episode is, is completely different. This, they, the first episode, the focus of that first episode was revolutionizing the character of Loki and changing him and his purpose and his story into something else that can continue for multiple seasons. But the second episode is when the show really starts and you really start, they really start to lay the East, the, not the Easter eggs, but they really start to lay the foundation for the coming episodes. And they just take you on this crime thriller adventure. And it's just, it's so much fun. So going into Loki, I didn't know what to expect. But after watching these first two episodes, I'm hooked, I'm loving it, and I have such a deeper appreciation for the Loki character. Even though this is like a completely new version of Loki, because this is the Loki that escaped the timeline from Avengers Endgame. So this is a completely new version of Loki, and I just, I love this version so much already, because it's, it's he's like, we in, in the first two episodes, there are scenes that are emotional, that are deep, but... And then you also get like the comedic side of things that we're accustomed to seeing with Loki's character. So like you're getting everything with this show. You're getting depth, 
you're getting comedy, you're getting action, you're getting all of it. And after watching these first two episodes, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I cannot wait to see what else this show has in store because not only is it a, a, is it a great show, but it's also setting up some major things from for the most anticipated projects that are on, on that are set to come out in the in the future. So with that being said, I am so excited to talk more about Loki and all of the spoilers after episode one premieres and we're all assembling, we're all coming together because the watch parties are back and our first Loki episode one watch party is going to start at 11 p at 11.30 p.m. Pacific time, 2.30 a.m. Eastern time and we're bringing that energy guys like never before. I can't wait to be back on, on, the, on that live stream. I hope you guys are bringing that energy because we're gonna need it. We're, we, we've been on, on a two month break. There's no excuse for us to bring the energy like never before and now it's time for us to assemble once again. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that sub button and hit that notification on my channel to get notified when these videos come out and when I go live because we're back. The watch parties are back and we're coming back stronger than ever. So with that being said, I love you guys 3000. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.